What is up you guys? I'm back playing even more Pokemon Summit Trials. I'm venturing even further into Mount Trueno. I'm making really good progress, I think. I hope. These electrical gates are very confusing. And I need to figure out where the hell I'm going. But I'm certain that I'm going somewhere good, right? I hope. Uh, ooh. This could be good. I want these TMs, dude. Gyro Ball. I thought I... Did I, did I already have that? I think I may have already had that. I'm actually gonna go back this way again. So what we have here, I guess, is some room that almost feels like, um, what's that called? Like the things where the balls trickle down like a pachinko? Feels like I'm in a pachinko machine here. Ooh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh, wait, or, yeah, I did go the wrong way. It was close. I'm very close to going the right way. So, yeah, this is very interesting. And to think that there's two of these, like two different trickle downs on two sides, this has to be the way. Yeah, there we go. I really want that TM though. Ooh. A kid like me can't hope to get to the top of this mountain. What? Yes, you can. You just gotta believe, dude. You just gotta believe in yourself, youngster Todd. I mean, I'm believing in myself and I'm probably gonna get to the top of this mountain before the day is over. At least I hope so. Hmm. I am going to switch to Navy, perhaps. I mean, I could go for a high jump kick here, but that would just be foolish. That would just be downright foolish. Um, Hardhead could get the job done as well. You know what? Hardhead hasn't seen much action lately. Let's go get him, Hardhead. I believe in you. I've always believed in you. Smack him down, dude. Oh, shoot. Brave Bird. That's going to do like... Yeah. It's probably going to do more damage to them than it is to me. Oh, wait. Mm, that didn't do very much at all. Is recoil determined based on how much damage that you did? It should be based on your max HP, but there's no way Brave Bird is that cheap. Wait, what's this? Final Gambit, what are you doing there? Whoa! What? Huh? You can just kill yourself? What? What the hell is that? Is that like self-destruct, but like, even better? It's just an insta-kill on both parties? Well, that's just a little bit ridiculous. Okay, well, whatever. Darunia. You can deal with whatever's next, right? I believe in you. Unless it's a water type. Oh! Oh my god, they knew! I'm gonna switch into Celebi now. Celebi, I believe in you. You know why? Because you're good. And you know why you're good? Because you're high level with a good move coverage. Oh, there we go. It's been a while since they've had a move like that miss. I know that, like, what was it, like Aqua Tail or something missed a while back, but... Yeah, seeing something like a Hydro Pump or a, a Thunder missing... Seems few and far between nowadays. I got blizzarded to shit when I was at uh, the Ice Mountain, aka Mount Hielo. What else you got? Omastar. Oh, I'm s oh, I'm definitely keeping my guy. You got the Celebi. You are so good, Celebi. Kill him. Kill him now. Now suck on that. Yeah. Oh man, I love that quad. There's a lot of uh, quad opportunities on these dual types here. Hey, you're a kid too. No, I'm not. I'm a big boy, see? Even though I'm a kid, I can't give up. That's true. Never give up. Ah, uh, here we go. Now that's kind of cool. I have to complete both sides. At least I'm almost there. Hmm. So I gotta turn off the red. I kind of want to go this way still, though. The allure of a shiny TM, it calls to me. If I wanted the TM, I have to go down here like this, right, and take this left side. Yeah! Man, okay, I actually really like this room. It's growing on me. It's growing on me. This is cool. Thief. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Could I even teach that to anybody right now? I might be able to teach it to Fufu, but, like, do I even need it? Thief might be better than U-Turn, because the reason I'm keeping U-Turn is for bug type. I mean, for psychic types. But at the same time, I also switch into Drifloon. For psychic types. Oh, can't even learn it. Darunia could learn it. And Navy could learn it. Bloom could learn it. Is Thief better than Payback? Let's compare the two. And then for Darunia, I, I kind of like Darunia's current moveset, so I don't really need to put it on. But what do we got here? 50 100, 40 100. Okay, Thief is not better. Give up? Yes, I'm going to give up on Thief for now. If it's only 40, then, you know, I'm, I'm not too uh, compelled to force it onto any of my Pokemon. Also, speaking of my Pokemon, I feel like they need a little bit of a heal, so let's just go out and do that real quick. 
There we go. It's like a... You never know if you're going to be able to actually go in here and heal or not. I do like, though, that it switches between, like, red and blue modes. These puzzles are getting a little bit complicated. That's kind of neat. All right. Thank you for healing me, nurse. Now let's venture forward once more. One more time. At least all the switches that I hit have uh, remained hit, which is nice. Now let's go this way. Let's fight the picnic. I'm tired of these puzzles. Let's just battle. I mean, I'm kind of the opposite. I'm tired of these battles. Let's just puzzle. Let me just puzzle. Christina. Ooh, a Doug Trio. Hmm. I mean, this shouldn't be too hard. I'm willing to bet. I mean, he's probably going to go for Earthquake, so I should probably just try to one-shot him. Do I see 20 for 20? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's probably going to hurt pretty bad. Yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so am I at 20 for 20 or am I at 21 for 21 now? Because my high jump kick accuracy has been a little bit unbelievable to the point where, like, I almost feel like I shouldn't use it anymore. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm jinxing myself now. Grand Bull. I will send in Hardhead for that. Grand Bull is a fairy, and I believe that this game uses fairy typings. If it doesn't use fairy, then he's just normal, and Hardhead still has the edge. But I'm thinking that this has fairy typing. Hey! Friggin' Intimidate. I actually have a perfect Grand Bull in Pokemon Go that I've been using in the Battle League. And it's been doing pretty good. Alright, take this. Okay, I guess you're not fairy typing in this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Very, very good choice. Very good move. Uh, very good heavy slam. Now, please die. Uh, you're probably not going to, but yeah. Oh, takedown, really? You're gonna take me down? Really? That was a crit? Wow. Wow. That damage was impressively low for a crit, but then again, you know, I'm rock steel. I'm kind of... That's kind of my, my job, right? To resist normal type attacks like that. Oh, man. Excuse me, I feel like my nose is like turbo blocked up. I'm like speaking with just my like... Am I speaking through my nose? I don't know. I feel like... Do I sound weird? Huh. What's going on here? Alright. What else do you got? A Kangaskhan. Um... I'm gonna switch for this. I want to get some health back for Fufu. You know, I don't feel like using all these hyper potions on Fufu. Fufu doesn't need hyper potions to be used on her. Cuz... I got Drain Punch. And now you're going down, baby. And now you're going down. I'm really bummed that, speaking of going down, baby, I really am bummed that Kangaskhan's uh, little baby there in the pouch didn't uh, see any more uh, elaboration. You know, like they didn't uh, they didn't bring it out into its own original Pokemon. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Cut that out. Cut that out right now. But yeah, like, wasn't the original idea that the baby in the pouch was meant to be like Cubone? And, like, Cubone was wearing the skull of a Kangaskhan, and then there was Marowak and all that stuff. Like, it could have been cool when it all tied together. Future Sight. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm gonna pass. I will pass on Future Sight. No, thank you. No, I lost! Well, you know, you mess with the best, you end up like the rest. Oh, shoot. This is an even bigger trickle-down pachinko that we've got here. I'm gonna take this right path first. Is there an item in this rock? Dang it, I check all the rocks besides these rocks. Okay, well, it looks like the natural flow here is just to go down and to the right. Dang it, I want that item. Although, did I find the right path? I think I did. Wow, okay, I completed this room. I hate these electrical gates, it's so confusing. Well, we're almost at the end now. It shouldn't be too much more confusing. I do want to get all the items in this room, though. It seems like what I need to do is take that left path. Ooh, cool. You know, I was still hurting for health from that Kangaskhan that used Outrage on me. So, you know, I wouldn't mind another full heal. If you would be so kind as to replenish all of my health. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. And it's a one-shot. God dang, Fufu. Remember when I said you were a disappointment earlier, Fufu? Do you remember that? You should forget it, because you're not a disappointment anymore. You're a goddamn legend, Fufu. Crushing it. With all these drain punch and high jump kicks and shit. <laughs> it's like... It's as if she was designed, this trainer, to be destroyed by fighting types. It's as if... It's as if you were designed. 
Like, what's next? Are you gonna throw out a friggin' uh, uh, Weevil or something? Is that what's gonna go on here? That'd be really funny. I mean, I could see it. Yeah, let's throw out a Sneasel or something. Throw out somebody else who gets just demolished. Gothitelle. Ooh, okay, there we are. Somebody who does not get demolished. I'm gonna send in Bloom. Yeah, Gothitelle. Gothitelle can stand her own, or hold her own against Fufu. So I gotta get Fufu the frick out of there. And I guess just Shadow Ball onto you. Suck all night. Oh yeah. That does at least half right. Ooh, a little over half. A bit over half. Oh, oh yeah, now you're really done. Special defense down. You're going down, dude. Wait, what? Whoa, wait, why did you need to do that? I was already flying. I'm already in the air, dude. I'm a blimp. What the heck? Did you use your telekinesis powers to lift a blimp even higher into the air? That's kind of lame. It's like, this hot air balloon isn't floating high enough. Let's make it float even higher. It's like, they can do that themselves, you fool. I hate losing two. You're just, you're just a hater, aren't you? I'm just a hateful person, I guess. Whoa, weird. Dang, I forgot about that. Wow, okay. I guess I just read her mind. Nice. So is this the summit now? Oh, it's another checkpoint. Oh. Oh boy, so now we have electrical gate puzzles interspersed with automatic movement tile puzzles. Oh boy, well that's gonna be fun. Trubbish is my favorite Pokemon. No, I don't have horrible taste, don't judge me. I'll trade you a really rare Pokemon for a Trubbish. Trubbish is stupid. Sure, let's trade. I'm sorry, I don't have a Trubbish. So I guess my only option is Trubbish is stupid, I'm sorry. Trubbish is not stupid. You're just not smart enough to grasp its elegant design. Trubbish is amazing. I'm sorry, guy. Whoa. Jeez. Sorry, buddy. Ooh, I want that item. Give me the item. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. That looks a little bit ridiculous when I'm sliding along, though. Looks a little bit silly. Okay, I'm gonna go this way, I guess, and grab this item now. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, whoa. So, I would like to advance forward, but... I still gotta go back and grab these items. I'm an item grabber, if you will. So I'm gonna go here, and then take a left at this like little pachinko intersection, and then I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna go here, yeah! Brick break, ooh, that's very good. That's very, very good. However, I don't think I need to teach it to Fufu. Because Fufu's already doing very good on fighting type moves. You know, high jump kick and drain punch are kind of fantastic. Um, where is it? There it is. What is Brick Break? Is that 8100? Who else could learn it? Darunia could learn it. I could replace Super Power with Brick Break. But Super Power, you know, I'm going to keep Super Power. I could teach it to Hard Head. That could be good. Uh, what's the power on this? 75100. And it can break Light Screen and Reflect. Dang, I love Brick Break. I think, hmm, do I just get rid of Mud Slap? Ah, I'm gonna not learn Brick Break right now. Ah, uh, it's, it's a tough call, man. Like, Hardhead's kind of been screwed over a lot. Okay, so it looks like I don't need to go to the left all the way anymore there. Hmm. So all I'm missing is one item, so I need to hit this blue switch, and then go grab that one item, and then I think I'm done with this room. Head on down here, and what was this way? Yeah, easy peasy, baby. Thunderstone. Nice. Easy friggin' peasy. Cool. Now what I need to do is just find a way to reach the bottom, and I know how to do that. What I gotta do is hit this switch again, and then just take this rightmost path. And bada boom, bada bing! Mount Trueno isn't so hard after all, is it? You just gotta have a little bit of patience. Ah, oh, shoot, I'm missing one more item. Ugh. Uh, do I go for it? Ah, I gotta go for it. It's gotta be something cool, right? I wouldn't just put something in there if it wasn't cool. I'm not some kind of psycho. Or am I? I mean, I did design these puzzles. You'd have to be some sort of psycho. Uh, here, here. No, that's wrong. Hmm. Hmm. I'll figure this out. I swear. So instead, left. And then I guess maybe I do have to go around and fight her. Okay, yeah, I have to fight her to get that item. Let's fight. I can read minds, but not the patterns of these puzzles. Well, 
I guess uh, you and I have a little bit of an inverse skill set there. I can read the patterns of these puzzles, but I cannot read minds. What do you say we team up? And together we'll read everything. We will read the universe. Or not. If you want to be that way. Reuniclus. I really like that Pokemon. I'm going to U-turn. And then swap her out to somebody. Oh, wow, that's good damage. Holy guacamole. So I'm willing to predict that they're going to throw out a Psychic-type attack. Who would resist a Psychic-type attack? Hmm. You know what? Celebi would resist a Psychic-type attack, right? I think. Let me guess. Psychic, yep. Yep, that's quite a move. Yep, that's quite resisted. You can suck on that. And then you can suck on this. Aha! See, I put Shadow Ball on Celebi, so Celebi can actually kill other Psychic types. Not bad! And by kill, I mean faint. None of these Pokemon are dying, right? <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, let me guess. You got another Psychic that you want to throw out my way? 260 attack on Darunia. When does it stop? Why is Darunia just so goddamn good? Hmm. All right, let's go, Hardhead. I believe in you. This is your opportunity to prove yourself. You've had many opportunities to prove yourself, and you know, some of them have been great. Some of them not so great. Not gonna sugarcoat it. However, this is a match made in heaven for you. The blizzard misses, finally. It feels like it's been forever since a blizzard missed. And then the heavy slam one shot, let's go. See, there it is. There you go, hardhead. I knew you had it in you. I knew that you were thick enough to destroy that jinx. You gotta be thick. That's a thick ass aggron right there. What else do you have? A Metacham. What do I do for you? I could just send in Balloon and fly on him. I think I'll do that. I could also use that Dark type move, what, Payback that I have? But I believe that Fighting resists Dark. So, fly is my best bet, I'm thinking. Aha! Where am I going? I'm going up here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, boy. Where am I going? Uh-oh, what is this? Whoa. She's raising her stats. Oh, no. Defense rising sharply. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Dang it. Wow. That's after a defense rising sharply? That's not very much. Ooh. Wait. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're sharply raising your defense. And then you do that whole swap so now your attack has been sharply risen. I see. And now you're doing this shit again. Speed rising sharply. You know what? Oh no! And you know recover! Oh man, I was about to say, you know what? You're dead! But uh, yeah, that recover kind of Fs things up a little bit. Maybe this isn't my best uh, bet for winning. This battle could actually go on really long if I get unlucky. Um... Payback? And the recovering starts. And this is going to be a pain in the ass now. That's unfortunate. You know what? Maybe I just do self-destruct to blast through him. Ooh, that's not bad damage. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Screw this whole recovery nonsense. I'm using self-destruct. And if you survive this, I'm switching into Darunia, and I'm going to friggin' uh, Flare Blitz, and then you'll be dead. Suck on that, though. <laughs> uh, the fact that there was no explosion is kind of makes me sad. Oh, come on! That's a little bit of baloney, wouldn't you say? That's right. It is a little bit baloney. Alrighty. You know what? Screw you, Medicham. Reversal. Oh. He actually knows another move. You know what? Screw this. Screw this whole operation that you've got going here. Get out of my face. Okay. Oh, that actually didn't do too much damage. Interesting. Huh. Well, there you go. Give me that nice level up. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go team. Double edge. Oh, that's a good move, but I'm gonna have to pass on that. I would learn it, however, I don't have the ability that prevents recoil. That would have been a really good ability. You read me like a book. It's true, I did, and it wasn't even a good book. I just want to get out of here. Well, that can be arranged. Soul Stone. Oh, yeah, those are good. That's a good pickup. Now I can use it to evolve like a Machop or a Machoke or something. Or a Haunter into a Gengar. Or anything else into anything else. It's a pretty cool item. All right, let's advance to that checkpoint now. 
And let's move on down to this whole arrow puzzle situation that's going on over here. Yes, please heal me, nurse. Please, my team. They're all beaten up and bruised and bloody. Fufu's been beaten to a pulp. And I just can't have that. Okay, if I want to advance forward, I guess I don't go this way. I go this way, and then this way. No, I don't go that way. <laughs> what I do is I go this way. Cool. This is an introduction to the fact that this new area is going to be a pain in the ass. I'm glad that all of these puzzles at least have tutorials to the mechanics before you actually go into them. And, uh, yeah, sometimes they showcase that what we've got here is a big old pain in the ass. Wow, look at this. Oh, boy. So something like this just wraps around. And it looks like since it's purple, I gotta hit these other purple switches. So something... Nope, that's not it either. Okay, I gotta step on the central one here. That'll wrap back around and... Yeah! So now that one's going upwards. Cool. So if I step here, then I'll go up and then <laughs> right back down. Okay, I gotta hit the other ones now. Let's wrap around this way, I guess. Oh, what? Wow, that is weird. Okay. Thank you, Rappel. Flip that one. Um, I wish it was on screen. Okay, it's that one on the far left there, and that's facing left now. Cool. Thank you. Yes, escape ropes. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh. This one should take me now to the left. Yeah! But then this shoots me right back down. No! Okay, I think I'm almost through with these puzzles. What I need to do now is take this path. Oh, whoa, you can sprint on them? Wow! That's nice. So I can do this! Whoa! Oh! I'm almost done, though. I'm almost there. Yeah! Ride the line, dude! Awesome. Cool. And then I guess that one facing up is good? Huh. Either way, now I shall advance. Oh, look what we got here. It's a warp pad, meaning there's going to be some warp stuff up ahead. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dude, this sucks. <laughs> Puzzles like these are tough, especially when people like me get in the way. It's true, though. It's true. What's this guy doing in the way, dude? What are you doing, super nude Garfield? What are you doing here with all your lasagna and whatnot? Okay. Fufu into, you know what, I'm gonna risk it again. I'm risking it for the biscuit, leaving it all out there. There we go, man. I think that's like 22 high jump kicks in a row. This might be the most lucky I've ever gotten, although the fact that I keep talking about it makes me feel like I'm jinxing myself, so I should probably just shut up. Let's just say, good job, Fufu. Let's go, Fufu. You're kinda crushing it, dude. Kinda crushing it. Navy's level 77, god damn. A Porygon 2. Hmm. Send out Porygon 3. Hey! Don't you take my ability. Don't you do that. It's a little bit rude. Now I shall punch you. I shall punch you for your crimes. Ooh, it's almost a one-shot. Damn, that's kind of a bummer that it wasn't. What do you do? Try attack. Ow! I used to think try attack was super friggin' cool. So it's like a normal beam that has a chance to burn and or paralyze and or freeze. That's a really cool move. That's a really cool move. There's a lot of RNG there, like the whole like you have a chance to burn them and or paralyze them and or freeze them. But the fact that it's like it's like a roulette almost, it's kind of neat. Kind of neat. I wish that there was more stuff that was 100% in this game though, or something that you could set up. Ooh, Bastiodon. Will I switch? Hell no. This is some nice free uh, some free health right here. When I was younger, I called them Bastiodon. But now I realize it's meant to be like Bastion, so he's a Bastiodon. Oh, he's got sturdy, god dang it. But, uh, what was I saying? Something about, uh, yeah, I wish there was more ways to set it up so it would be 100%. Like, if he had a move that he could use first, that then would make try attack 100% of the time. Oh, god, that did a lot of damage. What the hell? What was that? But yeah, if there was some sort of way to set it up so 100% of the time it would apply a status. That's what, I would like to see more combos like that, you know, like... I, th I used to think it was really cool when you could do something that was like a low accuracy move, but if you did lock on first, then it would be guaranteed to hit. I kind of like that, you know? <laughs> I kind of like that very much. Alright, Bastion, you can kind of just suck it. You can kind of just suck it. And then what else do you got? Emolga. Ooh, I cannot have a uh, navy out there. 
I could send in Darunia. I think I'll send in Hardhead. I think you're part flying, right? Are you not part flying? I think you're part flying. I'm gonna hit you with a rock type move. And I'm just gonna assume it's a good choice. Volt Switch, what? I mean, Volt Switch is a good move. It's just they don't have anybody to switch to. Crit, come on, man. Come on, man, why are you doing that, man? Hey, you are flying. You were flying all along. <laughs> Unfortunately, that crit put me in a very shitty spot. I think, I think Hardhead's dead here. <gasps> Hardhead lives. Hardhead lives. You can't defeat Hardhead. Eh, <laughs> eh, yeah. Suck on that, dude. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink real quick. I got some water here. I got my throat drying up like a mofo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You got me. Yes, I did. Um, I think I'm gonna heal real quick. And by I think I'm gonna heal, I mean I'm absolutely 100% going to heal. Looks like I just need to pop a repel. No, not a repel, sorry. A revive onto Fufu. And I think just a couple super potions ought to do it. One and a two. There we go, Fufu. You are so good. Alrighty. Um, well, this was definitely the wrong way to go. I guess I'll just warp right on back. What happens if I take the super far right path? Well, this seems wrong as well. I guess I could just warp back if I don't want to fight that guy. Let's stand on this fourth one. There we go. A little swaparoni. So now that'll take me this way. Oh boy. Let's roll the dice. Oh, gambler dude. He's a gambling man with a gambling plan. And he's got a gambling hand. All right, Curtis. Chimeco, huh? Or to the uninformed, a chimicho. You know, such as me. I'm the uninformed. I will U-turn out of there. And that might even be enough to kill, depending on his defense stat. Okay. I mean, all right. I mean, it's all right. Let me guess, he's gonna use Psychic, and or Future Sight, and or Psybeam, some sort of, one of those moves, I'm guessing. Extra Sensory, ah, oh, I was wrong, but I was in the ballpark, you know. I was in the ballpark, you know, I was in the stadium, I was in the stands, I was eating the hot dog there, I was drinking the overpriced beers, you know. I was in the general vicinity. Anyway, you're donezo. And that was fun, Zo. But now let's move on, Zo. So the rest of the battle, Zo. <laughs> no. Okay. Armaldo. Um. Are you bug water? You're bug, right? So actually, keeping uh, Celebi in here is a terrible idea. A very terrible idea, right? Rock blast. Oh. Or are you bug rock? I think he's Bug Rock. I did do neutral damage there with the Energy Ball, which is still all right, but uh, if he's Bug Rock, Ancient Power would be super effective, right? Because of the bug. Hey, what do you know? Okay, he's Bug Rock. Oh, what he missed. I really, really uh, needed that, actually. <laughs> I don't want to have Celebi take any more damage than Celebi needs to take, okay? Celebi is a precious little baby who will not be defeated by the likes of you. Now, leave me the hell alone and move on with the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Okay, Lantern. I'm actually gonna keep Celebi in. Man, could you imagine if I had friggin' Mega Drain on uh, Celebi though? Or Giga Drain or something? God, that'd be nuts. I'd have a bunch of Drainers on my team. You got Drain Punch, you got Mega Drain. Just give me all my health back, okay? I'm never gonna die ever again. That was a crit. Wow. I mean, it's not very effective, but dang. The blinking on Lantern is uh, freaking me out. Maybe stop blinking those lights so much. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. You can stop now. You can stop trying to give people a seizure now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lantern. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh. Easy peasy. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. I need to beat my gambling addiction. Yes, you do. You need to kick that to the curb, mister. Gambling addiction is not cool. In fact, hot take. Gambling addiction? It's bad. <laughs> I know. 
Kind of a controversial opinion there. Let's go this way. Cool. So now that that switch has been flipped, I gotta go this way once again. And then I can go hoop. And then hoop. Boop. Wait. That's wrong. I gotta go hoop. Boop. <laughs> no. I almost want to fight that guy, but I think if I can make it that far without fighting him, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, look at the slip and slide. There's too many buttons. This room is insane. This is an insane puzzle that we've got right here. Wow. Teresa, you want to fight? Fine, if you want to fight, let's go. Tauros, oh. oh yeah. I'm always down to get some of that free HP, although I'm already fully healed. Hmm. Intimidate, really? I forgot Tauros had Intimidate. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm chancing it again, baby. I'm chancing it again. High jump kick. Let me see 23 out of 23. Let's friggin' go. I uh, I have no idea why that's hitting every single time. I mean, it's like what we talked about before. I was superstitious about the statistics and whatnot. And I told you, like, if I hit 10, I'm destined to miss one. But it might not always work out that way. It's just, that's not how stats work. Soul Rock, will I switch? Yes, I'm switching into Navy, actually. Navy hasn't seen much action. I'm here to I'm here to correct that. I'm here to fix that problem. Navy, I think that Surf is your best bet still. Although, man, why do I keep forgetting about Navy? Come on, Navy. What do your stats be at? Ooh, 160 to 138? Ah, that's still such a tough call, man. He has higher attack, but Waterfall has lower base damage. For that reason, I still think Surf is better. Although, um, I probably should have taken into consideration Sawrock stats. I mean, Sawrock probably does have higher physical defense over special, so, you know, I mean... You know, it all worked out. I got the one shot anyway. It's like, whatever. It's like, whatever, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Carnivine. Will I switch? Hmm. Yes. I shall. See, this is fun right here, to me. There's probably... I mean, the fact that I'm one-shotting everybody makes it a little bit less interesting, but the fact that my whole team is strong and capable of entering a fight at any moment, and that I'm swapping, that's fun. The only thing that would make it more fun is if uh, I didn't get the chance to swap beforehand, like if the battle mode was set. And I think that's something that I can change in the settings, but I mean, I've already played through the whole game, basically. But, um, yeah. Stop pushing my buttons! Like, um, in Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, all the battles are double battles. And you don't get the choice to swap when they're throwing out a new Pokemon, so you have to react. And that reaction game, I think, adds another layer of fun. At least, I think that. Anyway, I also think that it's time to end this episode. Thank you so much once again for watching. I appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, in the next episode, we're going to figure out all of these uh, fucking tiles. <laughs> It'll be great. And I hope to see you guys there. Until next time, I hope that you all have a good one.